Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're gonna be talking about the summer collection out from I Love Nail Polish. They have two collections out for the summer. One's just called the Summer Collection, one's called the Summer Shimmers, I believe. The shimmers are like transforming top coats, kind of. That's how they're played out because like on their website, that's how they're advertised. Like meant to, you know, they're gonna look different whether you wear them over black, like a dark polish or a lighter polish, that kind of thing which I really love, but I decided to go ahead and pick up, um, you know, the regular summer collection. I haven't reviewed this brand a lot. In fact, I haven't ever done an entire review on one of their collections before. I've just received them before as gifts, and so I've already known that this brand has very high quality polishes, and I saw this collection and just thought, it's time. Let's do it. Let's review a collection. So. We're going to look at all six polishes in this collection. I have to go ahead and tell you that I have such a crush on this brand. One day I aspire my awesome level to be where the awesome level of this brand is. Like my personal awesome level. I want it to be to where this brand is. I have such a crush. Okay, so these polishes, you're going to see me actually do three coats on almost all of them. But I did not have a problem with that because the formula is not sticky and goopy and to where it builds up and it's just like so much on your nail that it just is like looks like it's gonna melt off there's something about these polishes where they're just like the perfect three coat consistency which as you know is not really my favorite thing I feel like polishes should all try to be about two coats but I feel like what this brand does is they're making it thin enough so that you can see all the holographic these all have holographic essence in them essence awesome gorgeousness. Some of them are linear, some of them are scattered. We're gonna get into it. I just wanna give you guys a heads up. I am head over heels. So, um, yes, I will be showing you three coats on all of them, but I really do think it's worth it. The payoff is just like, <gasps> I was sharing them on Snapchat and just like showing you guys just how amazing these were looking in the sunlight, just blazing gorgeousness. Okay, I'm gonna stop gushing about how much I love these and just show you. First off on my lips today is this Maybelline Color Jolt in the shade Never Bare. I love these. The scent does not bother me. It's a little bit sweet, but I'm really loving the formula. I only have two of them. I'm just, you know, putting myself in a straight jacket to keep from going to the store to buy more. I'm going to start with the two dark sexy polishes first because, hey, why not? So this first one, um, okay, so these first two are going to be scattered holographics. This first one is called Storytelling, and it's an awesome, deep, like, plummy purple, but not in your typical boring way. There's, like, this extra essence to it, and then, of course, packed with so much holographic, just that like, just blows your mind. When I put this on, though, I was a little bit... You know, at first, put off by the fact that it was pretty sheer at one coat, but then when I saw how easy this was applying, wasn't taking forever to dry, and how gorgeous it was starting to become as I was putting on each coat, I was just like totally on board. I was like, oh yeah, another coat? All right, I'm good with that. So um, yeah, absolutely. Ugh, I mean, it's a purple holographic polish. I mean, you can do no wrong with that. Really loved it. By the way, I always link in the description bar where you can purchase it. I just purchased it straight off of their website, not off of any third party website or anything. And now I have their website favorited on my MacBook. And I just cannot wait to see what they do next. All right, so this next polish is a duochrome holographic polish. So, okay, this goes between like a purple to a teal so in going between there you also kind of see like an indigo blue mm, this polish is so good this one just blew my mind again it needs three coats however you could totally just apply this over a very dark polish and probably save yourself some time but I was living for this and I was just like oh yeah I want to see how this looks on its own not needing any kind of base or whatever and see how this built up on three coats it was totally good for me at three coats I love the holographic presence in here. I love the duo chrome. They put them together and they just made such a delicious, sexy baby. This beautiful duo chrome is called Interstellar. Okay, so I'm talking about these polishes to you today in the order that I swatched these when I was sitting down and being like, okay, let's check these polishes out. Let's take some photos. This is the order that I was going in. So you know my experience. <laughs> then I got to this polish. This gorgeous lady is called That Other Girl. And what this is, is a very, in your face bright rose gold linear holographic this is just incredible 
I will say that you still did need two to three coats on this one. But like I said, I did not mind. So yeah, I was, you know, I'd gone through those first two polishes and then I put this on and the holographic blinded me. It really blinded me. I went out into the sun and I was like, okay, yeah. This polish wants everyone to know it's in the room. Like, and then the room next door, you know what I mean? Oh, I never wanted to take this off. Never, never, never. Um, that other girl, I can't tell you right now that this is my favorite polish out of the collection because I just am so in love with all of them, but this polish is a must have. I don't have anything in my collection like this. I really haven't seen that many rose gold holographic polishes done. <sighs> I gotta catch my breath with this one. That's all I'm saying. All right, these next two are like the chic polishes in this collection. You know what I mean? They are, again, some linear holographics. This first one is the Peachy Nude shade, and it's called Peachy Queen. How perfect. This one, I was so surprised. This one was actually one of the most pigmented, the base of it, to where I could get away with probably just two coats. I might be showing you three, but when I had the second coat on, I thought, I could probably stop here, which surprised me for this kind of shade. This is gorgeous. It's just so perfect, like a perfect nude with holographic running through it. I mean, you know, this kind of reminds me of like the tights that showgirls wear that are studded with sequins, but it's supposed to look like flesh color. It kind of reminds me of that. So yes, please, I would like to wear that on my nails. All right, this next one is what I have on my nails in this video. Another favorite of mine for a very different reason. This is a linear holographic. It's called Manor House. And I love how like unassuming this polish is. It's like, I'm here, but I don't have to blast your eyeballs out like that other girl. Um, I just love it so much. This gives me like Barbra Streisand fingernails. That's what I feel like when I have this on. I'm like, oh, I'm so chic. But the holographic presence is just making my eyes want to just look straight at my nail. The linear holographic is so strong in this, but it's like this awesome taupey gray, which is a shade that I love. And because they didn't go too opaque with this, it just makes it very chic. I proposed to this polish when I put it on. I said, will you marry me now? Oh, yes, you will. Okay, let's go. Last up, I'm sorry to say, we're already at the last polish here. This one is called Private Cabana, and that's probably a pretty good idea. You probably need to get a room with this polish. This one is different than the rest of them in that it's a foiled glitter combination with a kind of aqua teal -y base and holographic glitter in there as well. This is so interesting. So it is gonna kinda give you that glitter finish that will be slightly more difficult to remove, but you guys, it's so worth it. So this polish when I was looking at it in the bottle and when I was applying it indoors, I was just thinking, wow, this is just absolutely gorgeous. And then I stepped outside and I was like, oh, and you're holographic and you're blowing my mind. Yeah, that's what it was doing for me. This is so gorgeous. I kept this on. This was the last polish I put on that day and I kept it on for the rest of the day and just could not stop staring at my own nails. People probably thought it was crazy. I mean, most people probably do think I'm crazy. Anyway, I'm not gonna deny that, but you know, a woman staring at her own nails all day long, just like, it's not like I'm a narcissist. That's what I feel like sometimes when I'm staring at these polishes, especially these holographic ones when I walk outside and they're just like, Pfft. and I'm just like ogling my nails. And I think people are probably like, wow, this lady really thinks her hand is just so awesome, but I'm really just in awe of the polish. Ding, ding, ding. All right, guys, time to pick a favorite, huh? Are you gonna make me do it? This is really hard. Um, I guess if I had to, I would say my very most favorite is that other girl, the strong rose gold holographic, but I feel like you should just pick these two up as well for good measure because they're absolutely stunning, the duochrome one and the taupey holographic. But you know, while you're at it, you might as well just throw them all in the shopping cart because as you just saw in this video, they're all knockout, drop dead gorgeous polishes. This collection was hot fire. So that pretty much wraps it up. I hope that you guys enjoyed this live application review. 
I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm totally hooked on this brand. You will be seeing them very soon again on my channel because I'm not going to be able to keep my credit card away from my computer when it comes to this brand. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys had some fun hanging out with me today. Thank you for stopping by to spend some of your day with me. I will see you back for my next review. Until then, take care of your cute little booties. Bye. So anyway, this is a beautiful color, but on the nails you will see it is so, so sheer. Like the sheerest, sheerity, sheer, sheer. At one coat, I was like, oh no, this is going to take about five coats to get it opaque enough to look like this. I mean, that's the problem with sheer polishes. The bottle kind of lies.